There was a guy in Ottawa, I'm driving to Ottawa to get my car, the tires rotated on it in Huntley Club, Huntley, Huntley Nissan. So I keep saying to the Lord, you know, bring people while I'm here, bring them here. And I sort of had a vision back, but it's so fast. You ask the Holy Spirit, show me again, and it's so fast again. Well, <laughs> okay, I'm human. So I'm driving down there, and there's nobody. I'm walking around in this garage, in this service area, looking for this person on canes. So I go back out of there to the Shell Depot because I want to buy some oil for one of my aircraft. So I'm in there, I buy the oil, I put it in the car, and I have my lunch with me. I said, I am going to stop and eat my lunch because if I'm going to drive to Pembroke, it'll be 2 o'clock, and I'll, have, I'll be famished. I'm going to stop here and eat my lunch. I had one sandwich gone, and I had half a sandwich gone, and I looked behind me. There he comes with his wife. This guy, he just, the steps was about that high out of the business and just about fell flat on his face. And you know, you know, you know, that, like with Jesus' eyes, it just pulsed. And I, I just about tossed my sandwich and said, yeah! <laughs> Every time I see a sick person, it's, oh, right, you know. I just asked him if I could pray for them. And you know, the Lord is there before I am. He softened them. You know? And he said, yes. And then I told him who I was and what's been going on a little bit. And I prayed for his back. And again, through the prayer, rise him up, rise him up. I said, okay. What about the canes? I said, they got to go. He just drops both of them right there. <laughs> and now, now he's sort of, you know, he's, he's not good on his feet. But L5, L4, it's, I don't know what it was, he said, but it's not good. And then he was talking out of a uh, uh, voice, box. voice box, yeah. And he said, what else? He says, I got polyps all over my lungs. And I prayed into his lungs. And he, he just got overwhelmed with the Holy Spirit. He was so hot. It was so hot. The Holy Spirit has been just unloading out of me. I've been touching so many people, filling them with the Holy Spirit. But these people in the car on the hunt, on the hunt club road, they're they both waving at me as they're driving. I just watch the traffic because <laughs> they forgot, right? Like uh, I've been. It's just the whole week is just, and it just I just get more. I go to my porthole in the middle of the night. He wakes me up. You're not going back to sleep till you go to the porthole, right? I open the patio door all week. Doesn't matter if it's 12, 30, 11, 34 in the morning. I hear this little bird chirping in the bush. Yeah. It's dark. Birds don't sing in the night. <laughs> Every night. And again last night at 2.30. It sings its little song and then that's it. It's, oh, he's just moving on me and it's just, it's awesome. It's awesome. Hey. Whoever wants to catch what, what Lauren has, stand to your feet really quick. I say, Lord, what you've given me, give them thousands and thousands time more, Lord. Yeah. Let it come down on them now, yeah. all of these children of yours. Yeah. Let them, let them fill their minds with your words. Let them hear your voice in their minds and take all the voices and seal them in your name. Yeah. Seal the voices out in your name, Jesus. More healings. Let them come forth in your healings. More. I know he's going to do more healings. And he's going to rise you all up. All of you up. Don't worry about the, the, the thoughts or the eyes. Just go and heal. 